It's looking like rain today, but it's not supposed to. Sounds like thunder. Hi everybody. Today we are going on an adventure and I'm bringing you along with me. It's going to be a balmy 34 Celsius, which is probably around 92, 93 Fahrenheit, and that's before humidity. So we thought that we would jump in the car and take a little road trip today and see what uh, the surrounding area is offering us. So just real quick, uh, on my face, I'm just wearing my moisturizer, my Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss, and my Dior Brows. And then a quick outfit of the day is just this uh, cute little sundress that I picked up and my Tory Burch sandals. So get your sunglasses on and let's hit the road. The sun is coming out. Our adventure begins. section of Highway 401, which is one of the main highways that travels through Ontario. And I believe it is the busiest or one of the busiest highways in all of North America. It's especially very heavy with traffic as you get closer to Toronto. This is extremely quiet. If this was during the work week, this highway would be very busy and there'd be lots of semi-transport trucks traveling on it. But as you can see where I live we have lots of trees and you know how much I love trees. I forgot to tell you about my sunglasses. I don't wear these very often. They have brown lenses. I prefer black because I'm very sensitive to light. But I just thought I'd wear these today because they're a little more fashionable. They have uh, some bling on the side. And they're by the company Babe or Bibe. BB, I don't know how you say it. Bebe. B-E-B-E. -E. If I can find them, I will link them below. And I'm also going to show you the bag I'm using today. This is an old uh, Coach crossbody purse that I'm using today. I just brought my essentials with me. The highway is starting to get a little more busier. I'm really hoping that it doesn't rain on us. We haven't had rain since June. We desperately need some rain. So while we are trapped in the car, I thought I'd give you a look at the scenery and also give you a brief history lesson. Not that I am a great historian, but the part of Ontario that we are currently traveling in was once referred to as Upper Canada. Before Canada formed into its own country back in 1867, so we're only 100 and 51 years old, so that's pretty young as a country. But this part of Ontario was referred to Upper Canada, and I believe Quebec was Lower Canada. And we are traveling today to a small town along the St. Lawrence River. Population, I believe, is somewhere between 20 and 30,000. But it's a beautiful little town, well, I'll call it the city really, uh, Brockville, Ontario, and it is located along the St. Lawrence River. And the St. Lawrence River is a very important river because it connects um, Canada from the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes. Ships have to sail on the St. Lawrence River, go through a bunch of different locks in different towns and cities to arrive into the Great Lakes to bring their goods from um, Europe and Asia and 
whatever country they are coming to. And there are five great lakes. There's Lake Ontario, which the St. Lawrence River actually connects into, I believe, somewhere around Kingston or maybe Gananoque, which would be about another hour from where we will be today, west. There's, so there's Lake Ontario, Lake Superior, Lake Erie, Lake Huron, and Lake Michigan. Those clouds are not looking very promising. But back to my history lesson, I had to fact check because I was told that I was incorrect on the facts I told you earlier. So the Great Lakes are a series of interconnected freshwater lakes located primarily in the upper Mideast region of North America on the Canada-United States border. They are connected to the Atlantic Ocean through the St. Lawrence River. So the lakes are Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. They are the largest group of freshwater lakes on the earth by total area and the second largest by volume. So one of the main uh, reasons for traveling to Brockville today, well two actually, there's a restaurant I wanna try on the St. Lawrence River. I was hoping for a nice sunny day, but I don't know. I think we're headed for a thunderstorm. But the main reason is to see something called a train tunnel and it's a tourist attraction. It's, I believe, free, uh, but they do accept donations. And whenever we get there, I'll tell you a little bit more about it because to be quite honest, I don't know much about it other than that. They light it up and it looks really pretty, but I know there's a lot of history behind it. So we'll talk about that whenever we get there. I never claimed to be a history major. I'm just doing my best. Where did those solar farms go? Oh, and don't worry, I'm not driving. But it and here comes the rain. Wasn't such a great idea for a field trip today. Oh, we're still about 40 minutes away, so hopefully we'll pass through this and it'll be clear on the other side. So, as you can see, it's cleared up again. It was just a little skiff of rain. And I just wanted to clarify we got off the uh, main highway, my husband wanted to travel on. Uh, what we refer to as Highway 2, and this actually, many, many years ago, before the 401 was built, I believe in the late 50s, early 60s, uh, this was the main highway that traveled from the Quebec border to, uh, I know at least, uh, close up to Toronto. I'm not sure how much farther west it went. But I just wanted to clarify when I was telling you about Upper and Lower Canada. I never claimed to be a history major, but Lower Canada included Quebec and also uh, the Labrador region of what we now refer to as Newfoundland and Labrador. My daughter suggested that she record my husband and I as we argue about why we got off the main highway to travel on this road because whenever I travel somewhere I just like to get there as quickly as possible but apparently we have to take the scenic route this morning and The purple moves. So directly ahead of us is one of the bridges to the United States. Uh, this is at Prescott, Ontario, and I believe on the other side you would come out in Ogdensburg, New York.
think that stuff under that tarp might be road salt that they are bringing in for this winter. historic area of Brockville. It's a very quaint little town. So we have arrived in Brockville and this is the entrance of the railway tunnel. They preserve the railway tracks, which is kind of cool. Hopefully we don't run into any trains. light up and there's a light show. Oh, this is very cool. Very, very nice. And it's absolutely free. Uh, you can donate cash, I guess, if you want to. This is really cool. This from up above. Oh, that is cool. Watch. That is cool. The light, I guess, simulates a train. Something different. Imagine building this by hand. It's beautiful. Something to think that this was built without all of the heavy equipment that we have today for construction. The thickness of that rock, it's really, really amazing. So we're looking at the ceiling and that is an extraction shaft where they would have uh, lowered their supplies down into the tunnel when it was being created. We are 57 feet below the surface. Wish those colored lights would pass by. The different colors on the wall are just mineral deposits from the uh, water seeping through the rock. 
it's actually harmless. It's Marina, and we're gonna walk down by the water. So there is the beautiful St. Lawrence River. That's the U.S. straight across. It is hot out today. Some dogs are swimming in the river. Should have brought my bathing suit. Sometimes we don't appreciate the beauty that we have in our own backyard, so it's nice to get out and explore on little day trips. So we ended up in this really nice building where we're having lunch and this guy pulled up in this really cool car. I have no idea what kind of car that is. It looks very expensive. It's super hot. It's like over 100 Fahrenheit now and it's only 11.30 in the morning. So we're in the air conditioning enjoying lunch. So we just finished having lunch. I would have shown you what I had to eat. But these people had to come and sit like right, right beside us. duck having her lunch. So we are on our way home. We had a busy morning. It's 1.30. It's very, very hot out. I would say probably at least 100 Fahrenheit. The camera battery's dying. My battery's dying too. So I think we're going to call this an end to this vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along on our little jaunt today. Make sure you're subscribed. A lot of my friends are telling me that they have been unsubscribed. There's a lot of YouTube gremlins at it again. So just be sure that you click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Going through some construction. So we'll just sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery as I close out this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.